Hey everyone. So I'm going to do a bottle bottom pour. I'm not going to do a dirty pour over it. I'm just going to layer colors. So I'm kind of going to do a rainbow effect um, just so you can see how the different colors blend together. And I'm going to try really hard to do a double lap, but I don't know if my canvas is going to be big enough. So first I want to get some white on the edges. I always pre-mix my white and have lots of it available. Then I just put it in my bottle and add silicone, if I add silicone. But this is when I don't need silicone, so I just pour it out of there. I hurt my back today, so I might be grunting a little bit. Pulled a muscle, reaching behind the bed to get something that fell over the headboard. So I'm just moving it around just a little whoop, just a little bit. Now the bottle bottom that I'm using makes six petals, not five. Because I really didn't care if I got the flower effect or not. I just wanted to play. That should be okay. I just wanted it to have something to grab onto to go over. All right, so I'm gonna start with dark colors first, and hopefully I can get a second round on that. So I'm gonna start with Prussian Blue. This is Grumbacher Prussian Blue. Love this color. So I'm gonna try not to use too much paint. And I'm gonna set them this side. And this is Prussian Blue mixed with Iridescent Medium. And then I'm going to go with the purple. This is a Premier Violet. And then we have Creative Inspirations Viridian. And then we have Lucas Turquoise. This, I believe, is a mix of crimson and plum that I had left over, so I wanted to use that up. Then I'm going to go with Soho Magenta. And this is Soho Cat Orange Deep. Yellow is Creative Inspirations Cad Yellow Light. Okay, so now I'm going to break them up with just a little bit of white. And we're going to do it again. Oppression Blue. Iridescent blue. I should say iridescent Prussian blue. Don't drip. <laughs> Premier violet. Viridian. Ooh, got that for it dripped. Turquoise. mix <laughs> magenta it's pretty isn't it cat orange oops don't want to knock them over oh, my fingers stick into that bottle and cat yellow Okay, I 
think I'm going to put just a drop of white there. It's waiting for them to drip down. It takes forever. So we got our rainbow effect. So I'm hoping that this color will suck right up to the middle when I lift this. If not, we'll pull it in with a stick. a toothpick. And I'm going to pull two. It's going to go in when we start moving it anyway. Too bad we couldn't get paint just to stay like that and not be too thick because that's really pretty. All right, now I know when I move it, I didn't have enough white up against that part, so it's probably going to fold over. So we're going to go that way first. So I'm just going to get them all flowing. And we're going to head that way. See how it's folding over? So if you don't want to lose your outer band of color, make sure you have something for it to flow with. Does that make sense? Okay, we caught the edge on that side. So I bring it back to the middle before I head to another corner. We're gonna, our goal is to stretch this out to the edges, but you can't do it all at one time. <laughs> you lose your shape of your design. I'm just trying to get that white off. Now I've got to come back down this way. And I'm rocking my canvas to help that white over. Okay, so now we're going to go all the way to the opposite corner. You just have to be patient. Do it slow. Make sure you have enough paint on there. You can always pour off your edges. Now these paints have silicone in them, which I'm surprised we aren't selling up like crazy. But that's a good thing too. But I do have cells in the purple and the iridescent mix and some in the white. Okay, so we're starting to lose our definition. So we're going to go ahead and get these other two corners and we're going to quit. I'm glad I did two rounds of color because the one whole round is almost off already. The first round. Why 
Why does your nose always have to itch when you're doing this? <laughs> red side went over so now I've got to balance it out oh darn <laughs> It's moving slow now, so that means we're losing the uh, thickness. Boy, my fingers are pretty little rainbows. So that's all there is to it, guys. I mean, you don't have to um, do just one layer of color. You can see that I did two layers, um, two patterns, I should say. Okay, now I can itch my nose. And um, I am getting cells now, so I'll be... I'm curious to see what's going to happen with this middle. I really want to straighten it up just a little bit. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. I don't think so. I got a little stream of blue in there and I don't really care for it. But I'm not going to touch it. I think it's pretty cool. It's different. I like the white edges. So let's torch and see what happens. Shouldn't be too much going on. Just where the white was between the two layers. Because we didn't lay them on top of each other. Like when we would pour it. So the white didn't have to push through on that top layer here. I got all the air bubbles out. And we got no more cells. That iridescent blue is pretty in there. So let me give you a peek. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead and click subscribe. Click on the bell next to the subscribe button. And you'll be notified when I upload my next video. Click like and share. Join me on Facebook. Check out my Etsy shop. And shop with me on Amazon. All the links are below in the description box. If you don't have access to your description box on your phone, um, leave me a message on Facebook, and I will be more than happy to send you that link to shop with me. So there you go. Kind of Hawaiian-y, isn't it? It's pretty. It's different. It was fun to play with something different for a change. So have a great day, guys, and I will see you on the next one. Bye now.